I'm John Carl and I'm the General Secretary of the Public Service Association and we're just all about to go down to the rally organised by the PSA and other public sector unions in Macquarie Street outside Parliament Shame, House. Mary, shame! Shame, Mary, shame! Shame, Mary, shame! Shame, Mary, shame! And the reason we're having this rally today is because of laws that Barry O'Farrell wants to put through the State Parliament restricting the rights of public sector workers to have their wages and conditions set in a fair way. For over a hundred years public sector workers have had access to the Industrial Relations Commission of New South Wales who is the independent umpire that sets wages and conditions for public sector workers. Barry O'Farrell's legislation will take all that away. Shame, Barry, shame. Shame, Barry, shame. For you as a public shame, sector worker this may mean that you won't get a pay rise at all this year. If Barry O'Farrell decides that your conditions are in his view excessive, he can cut them by passing a regulation through Parliament. He can cut your sick leave, your maternity leave, your long service leave, he can cut your overtime, he can cut your penalty rates, he can cut all sorts of conditions that you've enjoyed for many, many years. Workers are coming from all over the state to attend the rally and let Barry and the boys up in Parliament House know what we think of these laws. I can tell you now that we're filled up the quarry street. We shout with a voice of triumph in the state. We will not be put down, Mr. O'Farrell. You ain't seen nothing yet. Hello, comrades. My name is Mary, and I'm a school assistant. Woo! Here's for all the schoolies in the state. I'm telling you now, Mr. O'Farrell, we will take it to the streets. We will take it to the shopping centres. We will take whatever it takes to get this down. You had better get rid of that legislation. You dump it or we will dump you. This is warfare. Amen. Hallelujah. Hi, I'm Deb Ferguson. I work at the Department of Community Services. I'm here today because we've fought long and hard for conditions in the workplace. We don't want them to change, we want them to improve. Knox is understaffed and we certainly don't want any cuts. I think it's extremely important that people recognise that we are under a lot of pressure, as are the police and, and nurses and everyone else that's in the public service. Leave us alone. <laughs> We're doing a good job and we need to be recognised for it. Hi, my name's Gary. I'm a parole officer from Fairfield. Um, I'm here today because I remember how work choices devastated the, the workplaces that I've worked, uh, worked in, in the past and I want to help uh, to make sure it doesn't come back again. We're worried about losing the, the right to go to the Industrial Commission, uh, having terms dictated to us without negotiation. Of course there's a pay issue but um, that wouldn't be the main thing that concerns us at this time. My name's uh, Jeff, Jeff Warren, representing Guy Mayor Tafe standing up for uh, what's going on here at the Parliament today and putting our best foot forward trying to stop it. My name's Sue Walsh, I'm the President of the Public Service Association and I'd like to say it was a great turnout here today. Uh, clearly the public sector unions and the private sector unions are very annoyed with Barry O'Farrell and the Farrell Government and this is the start of the campaign, certainly not the finish. The speaker's made that quite clear. There is no doubt that we will win this fight. We will get rid of O'Farrell's um, awful legislation and we'll also maintain the uh, independence of the Industrial Relations Commission. Uh, again, this is the beginning of this fight, certainly not the end. And it will take, for as long as it takes, we'll be there and we'll be fighting. Thank you.